I feel like I'm in Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, it is a dreary ass day day, but I'm out here, man. Out here and I'm walking. I'm having a pretty good time of it too. Okay, so what you just saw is a video of me walking in the rain with a much shorter beard, um, much shorter hair, uh, all that, because that was taken, that video was back in December before I fell off my porch um, and injured my back and my leg. Oh, actually, I just injured my back. Uh, my leg is part of the back injury. What I have is something called Quata Equina, um, which it literally translates to horse's tail. Um, it's the branching of the nerves at the S1 nerve root in the back and the coccyx right there at your tailbone. Um, the L5 and the L4 and L5 discs, they rupture and they pinch the nerve and it paralyzes my right leg. Uh, it can cause incontinence, all different kinds of wacky shit. Um, but when that happens, that when the back injury happens, then it exacerbates. That's a funny word, but anyways, it makes the, the leg worse because the leg won't act right. Um, then the stuff that you're about to see after we get done with with this stuff, um, which is something that I've been putting off for a while. Um, I, my apologies to everyone when we, you know, we're not even there yet. But um, this, this is very awkward for me to talk about. I don't like talking about my my personal my personal life and my health and all that stuff. So the walkie-talkie vlogs are well outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, so this, the the Im, the stuff that you are seeing is from uh, May to June, I think, and this stuff coming up after this part. And then uh, right now it is currently the end of June. So, uh, but we're going to get into a letter from my buddy Jim Herbert. Uh, another thing is I wanted to apologize to to Steph over there at Wicked Junior Reads, to Angela, to uh, Mark Pellet Pelletier, I, I can't remember. I got all of your guys' uh, letters written. I even got some back uh, Mel uh, Melody. Uh, several of you, I, I started a pen pal thing, um, and unfortunately, right after I started it with you guys, I ended up getting a project come through that I absolutely had to do, and I just don't have the time for it anymore. Keeping up with writing uh, the project uh, and the YouTube stuff, I just don't have the time. But Jim's letter especially says, <laughs> Suggestion, open on camera. I asked everybody if they would mind. I was going to do like a pen pal project. Uh, whether or not they wanted to or not, I was going to write back and forth to them. But uh, what, I <laughs> what I was going to do, I, I just wanted to start something tactile, you know, something that I actually, is that even the right word? I don't, something that, you know, I could actually write, hand write letters to people. Um, and once life slows down, that may happen again. I don't know. But my apologies to anyone who asked to do it. it either I didn't get to you or I didn't return the, uh, I'm trying to get this out of here. Or I, or I didn't return your letter, so my apologies right off. I'm going to open this attachment. Oh my god. Okay, so this is Jim. Uh, Jim Herbert, if you don't know. It says, attachment, gif. On the back, it says attachment, gif. So, I can just picture this as a gif. Oh my gosh, what is this? What does this look like? Oh no. <laughs> what is this? I'm look. What is happening? I don't know. This is so weird. Can y'all hear the rain? It is pouring outside. Oh no. Oh no, not this one. This is this is one of his best. That's me putting on the or uh, David Caruso and me putting on the uh da na 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 it's the M D O double G the uh thug life. Well it's not actually thug life. I mean depending on what generation you grew up in, I like, uh you you would if you knew know this from uh what is it, C S I Miami, if you knew it from there you'd have, and then the music would start playing. 
Oh my gosh, this is great, dude. <laughs> it just keeps going. I think it's the last one. Yep! Me looking like a fat white Morpheus. Look at that. <laughs> Jim, that's awesome, man. That is absolutely amazing. Now, if it cuts out here, I don't know if Jim's letter is, uh, is something that he wants read. So I'm going to go ahead and read the letter. And then we're going to, uh, if it's something that I didn't, that I shouldn't be reading to you guys, then I will cut the video. And you'll just never see this part. Um, hey, E. Hey, this is from 5-3-19. So May 3rd, 2019. Sorry I didn't get back as quickly as I said I would. Dude, you ain't got anything to apologize for. So far, 2019 has been my year for falling behind on every damn thing. I feel you. And our letter exchange has been no exception. Enough preamble, right to your questions first. One, I've always been into animation since, uh, since a kid, when I first saw Monty Python at the age of 12 on TV. How did I know they were an inspiration for you? My favorite parts were ter Terry Gilliam's animations. It was always an unfulfilled dream to do my own, until three years ago when I realized I could use Windows Movie Maker to create cartoons. I, I will put a link down to Jim Herbert's channel. He does fantastic, uh, like, really quickie reviews. Uh, the animations are amazing. One of my favorite ones is one involving me where I blow his head off. It's amazing. Um, I destroy all the pins. In oh, that was on the 3rd. He wrote that on the 3rd. Then on the 7th, four days later, he says, I destroy all the pins in the house because of my constant sketching and note-taking. Sorry. <laughs> in my research for, in my search for a pin, I found another... I found other distractions to focus on. Two animations that elude completion. Anyway, I don't use any animation software. I use a computer to create images, but compile them manually in Windows Movie Maker. It's labor-intensive, but I like the grubby, beat-to-hell look of them. Very garage band for a band that practices in the garage with the door down and the car engine running. <laughs> That's great. Uh, and then the next part of it is, I actually dislike puns as a form of humor, but social media, especially Twitter, lends itself to it, and I lower myself to the occasion. Less so in a personal letter, which is witty, which is, I think it's witty, I'm not, oh, which is why, I'm sorry, which is why, um, which is why I haven't asked you to forgive my messy penmanship. Feel free to read this aloud, and feel free to share the attached GIF I'm sending as well. This should be fun. Best, Jim Herbert. I'm so sorry, Jim. Um, I hope you watch this. I hope you get to this. I know, uh, I know social media isn't for people like us. Um, it isn't. You know, it's for the extreme-minded people. It's for the people who want to share every single note of their lives. Um, just people that take that shit way too seriously. So I feel you, man. I, I understand uh, completely. Uh, we've discussed this in private. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, it's for me, it's the nature of the beast. I have to be a public persona. And there's been several times when you told me that you're, I'm the only, well, one of the only reasons. Um, one of the only is a bad, is a bad, bad, don't write that. One of the only, don't write that. Don't put that in your writing. Anybody. Um, but you're, that I'm one of the reasons that you, uh, hang around Twitter, uh, as much as you do, which isn't anywhere near as much as the rest of us do. But anyways, so what's coming next is, um, an extended video tour of parts of my town, a cemetery and a park. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Jim, once again, man, I'm sorry that I didn't write you back. To everybody else who wrote me a letter, I'm sorry I didn't write you back. Doesn't mean that they're never coming. Um, I still have them. But, uh, yeah, I'm just so far behind right now that I can't actually find the time to sit down and write you guys a letter, and I don't want to have to type it out, uh, which is, you know, it's much easier for me to do that. I want it to be more personal. So, yeah, so have some patience. It may be coming. It may not. I'm almost stand on the slot side of wishy-washy. Anyways, on with walkie-talkie. I'll see you guys on the road. Bye-bye.
Oh, you a big guy, ain't you? Damn. <laughs> That's the way I came in. <laughs> Not every day you mess around. Let's come across a cemetery. Walls are all falling down. <laughs> Nothing but woods over there. I think I know where this is. Yeah. I definitely know where this is. Hey, look. Listen. Oh, Lord. This says, says a gauge. Eh, gauge. It's not Creed. Let's see here. Let's go over here. That big one says Northington. I think the road into here says Northington. Pretty sure. Yeah. Samuel Northington. All these are Northingtons. William Northington. Oh. This one has a fence around it. It says something nummy. That's weird. There's a car way off in the distance. And that's the entrance way over there. That's where I usually come in. I had no idea this had a back route. It's very cool. Let's go check this out. Y'all coming with me until my leg gives out and then I'm gonna call my ride. There's a little urn right here. It says H. See him? Right there. We got another one with a fence around it over here. Ow. Oh, did you see a squirrel? Squirrel! No, we went. I mean, kind of pointless to have a fence around there. It's just going to be falling apart. Falling down. Ooh, you want to go in there? Let's go in there. Uh, is any of this good to step on? I hope so. My leg gives out of me now. I don't know what I'm going to do. This dirt is soft. Oh, we got a huge step down. Hang on. Down with the good. Oh, almost fell. And in here. Y'all see this? Ooh, look. That's creepy. I don't know what that says. I can't read it. In Edward T. Miles. There you go. I'm an obelisk over here. Yeah. Let's, let's get out of here. It says public notice. Cemetery maintenance and improvements to begin November 2nd, 2016. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the obelisks. All right, interesting. If you come up real close, it's got a, y'all see that? See the chain link? Sacred, sacred to the memory of Dr. H.C. Hillhouse, who was born July 4th, 1820, and died, he was only, what, 35? He's a doctor? May 17th, 1855, erected by the members of Autumn Lodge. I can't read that. Number 17, I-O-O-F. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, looks like that's all. I'm going to walk us out of here now. If you turn and go this way, that's the way out to the main road. I'm going to take us the back way. So, the way I came in that I didn't even know existed. All right. Oh, down the hill. Hang on. Where I fall. So, that's where we're going. We're going out that way. So, um, another thing, I don't know if you guys watch my old, uh, walking vlogs or not, but this bamboo is just everywhere in this town. Very weird. Prattville, Alabama. It's just, uh, it's just bamboo everywhere. Anywho, so this is the back way. I'm gonna go ahead and go just in case. I don't want to film somebody on accident. <laughs> nah. Who that is? No fishing. No fishing. Sorry. I see. Yeah. yeah. I finally conquered the tire swing. Tire swing? Yeah. How'd you conquer it? I conquered it. Did you murder it? Yeah. Cool. Alright. No fishing. Dang. Cold blooded. Oh, that's nice. That wasn't here last time. They put a bench around the tree. So, no fishing. No fishing. That sucks. I mean, not that I ever went fishing here, but, yeah, so, 
a will. So, this is Pratt Park. This is the, uh, the walk. Not the walk, but the whatchamacallit. The, uh, this is the trail in the darkness. Down there, you guys can see, is, uh, I don't know if that's a creek, a river, or what. But let's go down there. Y'all want me to go down there one of these days, show you. I mean, there's a whole bridge and everything down there. Y'all gonna have to let me know. But right now, we're going down this way. Um, this goes pretty far. I think this is about a two mile trail. It starts at the Prattville Public Library or upwards around there, around downtown. And then it goes all the way. It just keeps going, you'll see. But also, we can go over here real quick off the beaten path and you can look down here as I walk by I'm not going to pay too much attention because I don't want to fall down off the side yeah, so. and we can just go back around <clears throat> family's over there way over there we can keep going this is uh, where the Prattville Lions play I think it's the high school I could be wrong but we got all these bird feeders and whatnot. The main thing is this really cool path. So, I don't know, it's not a nature trail, I don't guess, but it goes back, winds around back there. Um, once I get to some place of note, I'll stop and let you guys see. But uh, right now, that's where I'm headed. Yeah. I found me a kitty. Look at the kitty. See the kitty? Y'all see it? Look. Look at your kitty. Hey, titty, titty, titty. No? I don't get hellos? Oh, there they go. Ow. All right. I'm not coming after you, demon. Bye. Anyways, I didn't get very far before I saw the kitty. So, I'll be back with you in a minute. So, maybe you're wondering, hey, why are you able to walk so well? Well, legs just started working. Uh, it's been doing pretty good and uh, I'm not taking a risk coming out here uh, this is I got someone who can come pick me up just a, just a phone call away so if I get to a point where I can't uh, no look at that if I get to a point where I can't walk anymore which eventually will happen my leg will just give out of me uh, at least it's been happening after about 30 minutes an hour roughly around there uh, then I just call and they come and pick me up I just got uh, a low battery I'm gonna go ahead and go but uh, yeah I'm gonna turn around anyways this is where I'm at the trail keeps on going but I'm gonna turn around and head back so they don't have to go too far to come get me Chris we just bought those shoes man this boy next time we do something like this you gotta bring your outside say hi Dan <laughs> I'm coming. Chris, what you find? A mini cave. Mini cave. They found a turtle. Where is it? I don't think it's dead. No, it's rusty. Ugh. You are yeah. such a vlogger. Look, look at its yes. face. Yeah, no. That is a goldfish. I think. It's massive. It's got to be as long as my arm. Okay, so uh, here I am and there's my car back there. Uh, since my leg was working, I went ahead and decided I was going to come down to... And drove down to... Uh, the track if you guys are if you guys have been watching if you guys have watched let me get my hand out of the way here as I watch the uh, walkie talkies the first three this is the same track that I always come to this is a gazebo there's the they train horses out here ride horses out here then there's the uh, the restroom and the old church and there's the new church so yeah so that's where I'm going um, I'm on 
I think lap 11 right now, every five, I've been checking on my app, every every five revolutions is a mile. But uh, I'm going to stop here. I'm about halfway, and we're going to go sit down. I don't know if you guys can see it, but at that bench. I'll talk to you guys more in a minute. All right, so uh, we're going to chill out here for a minute. Sorry if I wasn't looking at the camera then. The sun was in my eyes. I didn't know where the camera was on my phone. But, uh, yeah, this is the third day I'm walking this week. Um, I did Monday. T no, I did Sunday and Monday. Sunday is the day that I got out of bed, and uh, I just wanted to go for a walk. And I didn't take the phone that had the good camera on it. Um, I didn't feel like uh, trying to enhance, like, two megapixel camera on the phone that actually works. I'm actually really glad that I, what was that? I think it was a spider. Anyways, um, I'm really glad that uh, I took the other phone with the crappy camera because that one has cell service. It's actually Shell's. It's not mine, but uh, I just knew I was going to give out at some point. So, and I did. Is this tilted? It's tilted. Who cares? Whatever. Let's talk. Um, it's not like this is a Thursday theorist or anything. It doesn't have to be framed up. But uh, so I'm just going to take. Uh, so far it's a minute I'm gonna take a two minute break and then I'm gonna do five more laps um, finish up this lap and do four more so I will total out at 15 laps and three miles so that's what I'm doing I did four miles on Sunday three miles on Monday I went into town on Monday on Sunday I walked I just left my house and just walked and stopped when I got tired you guys have been following the blog I've been talking about this if you follow me on Twitter or uh, Instagram, you know all this stuff, but uh, I figured I'd do these also because some people, hi Wayne, hi Sarah, um, some people have been asking for them, and if not everybody likes them, oh well, that's fine, um, but uh, yeah, uh, also I'm listening to an audiobook, as you can tell, I'm not listening to it now, I also have my wire in my, tucked under my shirt, but uh, I can't listen to the audiobook and record at the same time, so I figured I'd stop and give you guys an update. We are exactly at... Uh, two minutes as of now, so bye. <sighs> All right, so I did my oops, <laughs> copyright. Um, so I did my uh, I did my 15 laps. Uh, you can look at this one. It is currently it is currently May 22nd. I've done my 15 laps. If you want to check, uh, I guess I can put it up here on the. Uh, somewhere up here I don't know we'll see we'll see how I go let me try and get my hand out of the way of the camera I'm trying to balance this joker on the steering wheel I don't forgot how to blog y'all and if you hear a hissing in the background that's the air conditioning because it is hot let me take this thing off look at that look at that hotness that's a sexy bitch right there um oh good god I think I'm losing weight like in the top of my <laughs> no it's just because my hair is slicked down um anywho uh I did the 15 laps, which is three miles. Uh, I forgot that when I, uh, you know, it says 2.75 in the picture I'm gonna throw over here. But I forgot that when I vlog, uh, it pauses every other app. So it uses all of the memory or whatever. It only allows me to use the camera. I did actually do three, three miles though. But uh, yeah, I am extremely, extremely tired. I am still listening to Usher's Passing. This book seems like it will never end. In fact, I don't even think I'm halfway through it. Um, the, I looked at the page count. The book's only like 404 pages, man. It feels like it's about a thousand. I don't know if it's the, the tone that he uses, the really dry tone, but it is probably, it's, no, it's not probably, it's easily the worst McCammon book I've ever had to read. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, um, this is Wednesday. Uh, I know I was talking about how it was, uh, I did Sunday and Monday, and then today, uh, yesterday I did strength training, so I did the arm workout, um, so that's why the dates might match, might, might not match up, but, uh, so it's not a three days in a row, just to clarify. <laughs> Creepy dude.
<laughs> no, no, you can't touch my phone. It's just, it's just far enough away for you. You can't touch it. Ah! <laughs> why, why, why are you so incapable of touching the, the phone? <laughs> why, why? Ah! Shit! <laughs> I look like a motherfucking dragon, yo. <laughs> this is what I really look like. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> but it's raining today. The video I hopefully started off with, um, uh, I was walking in the rain also. That was uh, months and months ago. That was uh, before I hurt myself. I think that was back in December. I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping track. Um, today it is rainy. I uh, just got through walking two miles. It is Thursday, June 6th, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I like when things go full circle. So, and, and it feels like it's gone full circle. So, from the point that I started this video to now, um, I'm back on my feet. So, I've been walking every single day for the past... I want to say two weeks, and I've been maintaining that, so, uh, the leg is acting fine, um, and I'm just taking advantage of it while I can, uh, I would have shot some video while I was out today, but I don't trust my phone in the rain, it's, you know, it's an electronic, but, uh, so, that's, uh, that's it for this round of walkie-talkie. It's nice to be doing these again it's for the simple fact that I am out and I am walking. Um, they are a lot of work. <laughs> it takes me anywhere from six to seven hours to edit these. So, uh, um, I, I enjoy the process, but it's a little much. Um, so you probably won't get another one for a while. Um, it'll probably be, I don't know, a month, if not more. Um, also, not too much interesting happens in my life and I know you guys uh, some of you guys like these videos but there isn't a whole lot that goes on um, I write and I read <laughs> and I write some more and I walk when I can and then we just hang out with the family but family doesn't want to be videotaped and I prefer to respect that so anyways but uh, thank you guys for watching I appreciate you all my cheerleaders out there you guys have been great to me Thank you so much. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another walkie-talkie. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.